Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate on activity 4.1 that you can find on page 126 in the textbook um, to show that a natural compound is a combination of several elements. Let me show you how to do it. So these are the materials and the apparatus that you need, but we are going to change the calcium carbonate powder with some marble chips, like so. We are going to follow the steps in the science process skill books because it's going to be a lot easier because our students are going to use this one. All right, so uh, in this experiment, we need some marble chips which is actually a calcium carbonate and diluted hydrochloric acid lime water test tubes delivery tubes with stopper and Bunsen burner and we're also gonna need um, retard stand here and some rack for the test tubes all right now let's set up the operators First, I'm going to add some marble chips into the test tubes. I'm going to put some lime water into another test tube. and we put it on the retort stand. Like so. And then I'm going to add some diluted hydrochloric acid to the marble chips in the test tube. Okay, I'm going to put this. You can see air bubbles coming out from the delivery tubes and in here you can see the reactions between the acid and the marble chips which is actually a calcium carbonate and this is what happening inside here you can see the lime water is changing You can see that there is a gas that are being released from the reaction between the calcium carbonate and the acid and the gas now is turning the, the lime water to cloudy. From here, we can conclude that the gas that are being produced is carbon dioxide. For the second part, we are going to repeat the experiment by heating the marble chips. We are going to 
do the same setup as the previous one but this one without the acid okay so I already did this and here I have the lime water and here I have the marble chips with the connecting tubes and the rubber stopper You have to make sure that the rubber stopper completely seal the rubber tube here so that we won't lose any gases out from here. You want to make sure that the gas that are produced here travel through the delivery tubes into the lime water. We don't want to lose anything here. So now we want to turn on the Bunsen burner. Right. Now it's lit. I'm going to put it down here. You can see there are air bubbles coming out already through the delivery tubes. 